Genomic Best Linear Unbiased Prediction, or GBLUP, is a genomic selection method that uses genetic relationships derived from molecular markers to estimate the genetic merit of an individual. In contrast, PBLUP analysis uses pedigree information to derive genetic relationships. Both PBLUP and GBLUP analyses use the linear mixed model framework and can be implemented in ASRAML R. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to do GBLUP analysis using ASRAML R4. Let's start by loading the library ASR Genomics. Then we can request the phenotypic data from this library and explore it in some detail. This command creates a data frame called DATAG containing the phenotypic data. We'll use the head function to display the first few rows. This data set contains phenotypic data on 247 Apple clones, i.e. genotypes. These were evaluated for several fruit quality traits at two New Zealand sites, Hawke's Bay and Mochueka. The letters after the underscore indicate the site, HB for Hawke's Bay and MOT for Mochueka. The fruit quality measurements were based on six fruits from each tree. These were averaged across at least three clonal tree replicates at each site to represent their phenotypic response. These genotypes belong to 17 families, derived from 25 parents. 15 offspring were evaluated for all but 5 families. For 2 families, 14 offspring were evaluated, and for 3 families, 13 offspring were evaluated. The columns INDIV, family, mother and father are factors, and the phenotypic traits are numeric variables. If any columns have not been read in as factors, you should convert them to a factor using the command as.factor. Genotypic data contain molecular marker information, often as SNPs. This is used for estimating genetic relationships and creating a G matrix, i.e. a kinship matrix. If you want to learn more about computing G matrices and their inverses, this book is an excellent reference. There are many ways to compute a G matrix and its inverse from marker data. In one of our other videos, Computing the G matrix and its inverse from marker data in R, we calculated the G matrix and its inverse, then saved them in an R file called gmat.rdata. You can download this file from the video description. This command will load our saved R file, which contains a blended G inverse matrix in sparse form that we called GINV.sparse. We'll need to check that this matrix has the required attributes, which are needed for ASRML R to successfully fit our GBLUP model. The most important attribute is the names of the individual genotypes assigned to rows and columns of this matrix. It is critical that these names follow exactly the order of the individuals in the G-inverse matrix. In addition, you must set the attribute inverse to true to indicate that we are providing a G-inverse to ASRAML R. The above matrix is in sparse form, but ASRAML R4 can also read the full form of this matrix. ASRAML R4 can also directly accept the original G matrix, but we don't recommend this because if it is ill-conditioned, this will create issues for obtaining its inverse. We are now ready to fit the linear mixed model and save its result in an object called Model GBLUP. First, we'll load the ASRAML library. For this example, we'll evaluate the phenotypic response Dewey Mott, the juiciness at the Mochueka site. Juiciness is the amount of free fluid released on chewing. The ASRAML function fits the linear mixed model using the fixed and random arguments. The fixed terms are supplied as a formula, with the response variate on the left of the tilde operator and the fixed terms, if there is more than one, separated by plus operators on the right. In our example, the response variate is Dewey Mott, 
and the intercept, coded as 1, is the only fixed term in the model. The random terms are also supplied as a formula. However, unlike the fixed formula, the response variant isn't specified. In this example, the random term is a variance model function, VM. This function associates a known variance structure, here the G inverse matrix GINV.sparse, with a factor in the data, here the individual genotypes, INDIV. Notice also that we included the argument workspace. This sets additional memory workspace for the analysis, which is often required with a GBLUP analysis. After fitting the model, we can use the plot function to produce residual diagnostic plots. We can inspect these for evidence of departures from the residual assumptions of normality and constant variance. The summary command gives us the estimated variance components. The vpredict command gives us a GBLUP estimation of the narrow sense heritability. Note that this heritability is the one based on the clonal means. This next command extracts the genomic best linear unbiased predictions, GBLUPs, or genomic estimated breeding values, GEBVs, and saves them in an object called GEBV. Let's view the BLUPs. Note that all genotypes, even those without phenotypic measurements, have an estimated BLUP. See, for example, INDIV A332-39. You can also obtain the predictions by running these commands. Note that in this case, we use classify equals INDIV to indicate that we want the estimated means associated with this factor across all other factors in the model. The differences in the standard errors of the GEBVs, or predictions, are due to the different levels of genetic connectivity of the genotypes in the study population. The predictive ability can be calculated as the correlation between the phenotypic trait, here, Dewey Mott, and the GEBVs or predictions. Let's use the core function to calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient. And we can see that the predictive ability is reasonably high. This value should be calculated by performing some form of cross-validation, but we'll leave the decision of how to do this to you.